Virgo Singles, thanks for joining me. Doing the singles read, I call this the Meet the Soulmate read. It's for the end of October time period, we'll call it. Um, what I try to do here is describe the person that's simply right for you. So it's a uh, always positive read. It shouldn't be triggery. And if you see a bad card pop up like a bad card like the Tower or the Three of Swords, nobody's breaking up with you in this reading. Because all of this is just describing your soulmate. I look at their emotional aspects, uh, intellectual, uh, love and sexual nature, and core values, lifestyle. Pull eight cards, two for each area, the four pillars of a relationship. And um, kind of just meet your soulmate. I try to look at their personality mostly, uh, stories they might tell, personal history, and astrological signs. So... Uh, if you're into astrology at all, it's easy to get a natal chart now. Uh, mostly pulling the sun, Venus, Mars, energy, the moon. So I'll talk about that as I go along. And always with in mind that it's sun, moon, rising, and Venus in love energy uh, readings, typically. But now we're looking at your emotional nature. This is the devil, yes, but it's also Capricorn. So that's Capricorn, Mars, um, I mean Moon. I usually read the Moon here in the emotional uh, area and Two of Wands. Huh. And I read Childhood here. You know, it, it's not terrible. This this Devil is, is purely the Capricorn Moon energy um, of this person. And it doesn't carry any of the uh, Eighth House kind of a obsessive stuff really um very like grounded uh, it's hard this person uh would be hard to emotionally overwhelm them um and so um they're you could say they're really well grounded person just naturally um they might naturally uh, be a little skeptical um, but with the moon, we'll see where their sun is at here in the intellectual column. Um, it's uh, a more uh, passive kind of energy. Um, you know, so they'll be uh, not uh, outspoken about like their strength, but just kind of quiet. Um, and they might have an energy around them um, that just kind of feels kind of solid, you know. Um, like I, I get like even in childhood, like I don't think kids would pick on them. It'd just be a vibe they would give off. Um, um, sort of like they're strong, they're good, like that. And I get the feeling with this two of wands here, and this is in the unconscious area. You could say conscious and unconscious would go along with the eight cards. Um, they had to make a choice as a child. And I don't know if this is all that unusual, but the fact that it's showing up here, uh, it tells me, um, I don't read the bottom of the deck in this read at all, if you see it. And, um, but this tells me that this was particularly difficult, just but parents broke up, you know, and they said, you gotta live with mom or you gotta live with dad. And it was one of those deals where like they had to make the choice. And I think that kind of shows you like, this person, even when a child, um, they sort of didn't really consider themselves a child. Like they sort of looked around at the other children and thought like, they're ch <laughs> those are children, they're not like me. Um, and to the point where these probably at a fairly young age, I'm guessing, I've never had kids, okay? But I'm guessing most parents in a similar situation, I mean, they want the child's input, I'm guessing. You know, but they're probably not going to say, hey, you know, you're seven years old. You get to decide, mommy or daddy. Let us know. Get back to us. Uh, you got till tomorrow. Um, but I think that's almost like the situation they were put in here. And it kind of speaks to me. It's almost like this energy. Imagine just the parents. You know, it's all kind of like karmic stuff, too. I mean, this person may have been the big time, had a, a very... Uh, authoritative role or parental role with his parents in a past lifetime um, that kind of energy uh, almost as if in some unconscious deep level uh, the parents of your soulmate here 
would kind of see them as uh, uh, being mm, kind of in control in a way, understanding maybe more. Um, so you might have, your person might have spoke to them very wisely as a child too, and it's something they just accepted with them. I think that could be a whole lot of karmic stuff going on with them. Uh, but that story they may uh, cite, and um, I don't see that having any lasting repercussions. Two of Swords in the intellectual position. We're usually going to see my sun energy now and the star here. And the star. So I really like Aquarius for this. So I'm jumping on the Aquarius bandwagon here. <sighs> yeah. And I think Mercury's in Aquarius too with the two of swords. So put uh, the sun and Mercury probably conjunct in Aquarius, not unusual, but I think that's what they got within six degrees, I'd say, right? So looking at the astrology now, we have the sun and moon. Uh, we have the sun being conjunct Mercury here. Um, likely they this story is, you know, something they might tell. If they're soulmate, we're getting to meet them, getting to know them telling each other our stories. Um, it's really strange with their sun energy, even with the Aquarius, I get Libra. They could have a sun in the seventh house. So you could look for that. So they have their Aquarius sun. Yes, it's conjunct Mercury, but the Sun and Mercury in the seventh house and a Capricorn moon. And I mean, they would be all Aquarius. You know, in the way they think, in the way they communicate, in the way they just are, which is the Sun. They're just all Aquarius. You know, this Cancer uh, Capricorn moon, even more than um, before, I see it in the background. It's incredibly strong, incredibly powerful, uh, just solid kind of energy that your person has. Um, and so this is a person that can really be in the moment and probably is very smart. Uh, they're... they're um, confident and they they don't get upset they don't get rattled like they probably be like a great like poker player or maybe a general um you know they likely wouldn't get rattled like they could play russian roulette and not even show it that they're scared to death type of person probably won't be scared to death i mean they're just solid so it enables them if they need to think about something to sit and like kind of calmly think about it. If it's for a minute, think about it. If it's to complete a degree, someone that would probably have an advanced degree of some kind, you know. Um, they would probably, they wouldn't have any trouble committing to something. Um, let's look at the Venus and Mars energy. I'm interested. King of Pentacles is in the... Uh, Love and sex and two of pinnacles. Wow. That's Taurus energy. So they got their Venus and their Mars and Taurus now. Did that work? Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. No, it's not, not going to work. It's going to have to be Capricorn. It's going to have to be a lot of Capricorn in their Venus and Mars. There's no other way. I mean, it works. We'll see next in their core values and lifestyle. But, boy, that would really put a lot of emphasis on work. But, um, imagine if they're conjunct the moon and Venus and Mars. I mean, it's, uh, if they're well aspected, uh, could be something. Uh, but this is terribly grounded energy, you know. So, it, with this Two of Swords, it's like, um, this person is like really fact-based. And it, it could come across a little cold. 
but it's absolute like like they're if they say if they look at the situation and come down you pretty much figure they've got the right view of it i'm just not kind of like they're always right but i mean they're probably going to really look at it i mean really look at it with the capricorn energy commit to it study it if necessary spend however much time they feel you need to spend focus on it they're very grounded and focused and you know they could get whatever they want and it doesn't come across as a person that might be particularly spiritual but i don't know and but this person could manifest their ass off now you know manifesting is sometimes just like you know take care of business and you manifest security because you take care of business and uh, make money and save money and make good decisions. Um, then that very well could be the case with them. You know, I don't normally read age into this. It's kind of a, more about their state of being, their natal chart. Um, but like this would be a, another person that uh, is like the other reading. You know, they'd have probably felt mature even as a child, you know, more mature than the other children, you know, more adult like Five of Cups. This is in their core values and lifestyle here over the Queen of Swords. So, again, the, over here it goes with their intellect. So, with this Queen of Swords, they may do something for work here that's kind of hard to do. It could be a closer for corporations. Um, they're not afraid of saying it like it is. They're not afraid of pulling the trigger. Um, it's very strong energy. Um, I think with the five of cups here, what this means is they, they really can't do something if they don't have their feelings are not in it. You know, if they don't feel simpatico with it, um, in terms of this would be the way they live too. So, you know, they would have to just feel good about wherever it is that you live. And they probably have a lot to say about it, too, about your household and stuff. You know, they wouldn't be, if you were on the HGTV, they wouldn't be the one going, well, I don't know, whatever you want, dear. They'd be like, mm, nope, I'm sorry, that uh, master bath is just no bueno. We're not going that way, you know. Um, and that work, just someone I think that can really uh, be tough, I mean, Honestly, this is someone, they could be a soldier, they could be a police officer, that could be, I keep forgetting to pick up on that, I mean, that exists in the world, and it's, uh, um, that's the kind of energy here, now, also, this is a, if, if we're going to go with a male, which I don't like to do, but the, the phrase comes to mind, protector male, protector male, here, um, which, uh, you could have the same thing with the female. I've known one. <laughs> Been involved with one. Um, don't mess with her. You know, but just, so this is someone, they're never going to go off half cock. They're never, I, they're not going to tell you stories about shitty exes. This is another person, like I've seen before, I have to wonder how did they, uh, are they single? Have they been single their whole life? I'm not really sure how old here. Um, but um, I tell you, they wouldn't have had a bunch of crappy relationships, drama, codependent. Uh, they won't have any crazy stories to tell you because they're very going to be very logical. Um, and if they were to detach from someone, it would probably be. And also I'll tell you something about this person, like they're really honest. I mean, like and it's 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 kind of the honesty that's like, let me tell you how it is. And just saying things, uh, but they're also just completely honest. Like they, they're not going to tell a lie, you know. So let me know, guys, what you think of this. Um, I know we got the moon, uh, we got the sun, moon and uh, Capricorn, sun and Mercury, Aqua. We got the Capricorn, Mars, and Venus now. Might be conjunct here. And we might have a sun and Mercury in the seventh house, so keep an eye out for that. Let me know what you think. Like, share, tell a friend, tell a friend. Do subscribe. Helps a lot. Please comment. That helps. And I want to hear from you. You're not going to see this person for a couple weeks. When you do, get back to me. Huh?